things I wanted to look at at Overland Expo PNW here in Oregon was storage and organization. Now I try to DIY a lot of things, but I find when it comes to organization especially, sometimes I just have to buy something, even if it's inexpensive. I think purchases made for organization is money well spent. Having every bit of your gear well organized, a place for everything and everything in its place as the saying goes, really it makes the whole entire experience more enjoyable. There's no time spent digging around, trying to find something, trying to remember where you set something. Uh, packing up camp afterwards is also faster and more efficient because you know exactly where everything needs to go. So at home, my desk, not super tidy. On the road, my truck, as tidy as I can make it. So this video is not going to cover every single storage and organization product that was out there at Overland Expo PNW. We're gonna look at the things that caught my eye and that I wanted to take a closer look at. So let's start with uh, American Adventure Lab. American Adventure Lab? That's that right? it. Yep. Yeah, That's okay. okay. Yeah. So we do all types of sizes and lengths and widths and stuff like that for the rollers. Okay. And so are these like vehicle specific or? Okay, that's a, that's a good question. So if you see here on the bottom, this platform, that's the vehicle specific piece. So we try to use all factory holes and that type of thing. And when that gets bolted in, that establishes our grip pattern. So then all the drawers are not vehicle specific. So that's why we have different lengths and widths, so it fits different vehicles in different ways. So this gets mounted in the rig, and then you can, it looks very modular. It looks it like is. you can pick and choose. Yeah. So you can get, so like if you wanna have a small one on the bottom, you just buy the small bottom, and they all stack. Kind of like Legos. We have a piece that goes in the middle that gotcha. connects it all together. Okay, okay. Uh, and then the bottom one they install without having to get underneath it. Uh, so we have a connector oh. that goes in, and all installs from the top, and that way you're not scrambling, holding a wrench or nothing. What's on the back here? Are these just other, things that yep. are just other There's options, other types so, of things that you can. Yeah, this piece here we call the back seat shelf. Uh, so its intent is, is when you shut the back seat, your seat is the face of that. So we do things like oil and bottle jacks and stuff oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, Super yeah. easy to get yeah. to when you open the seat. Yeah. So this one is made for the JL, uh, like very specifically matches the angle of the seat. Oh, gotcha. Nice, really nice. And where are you guys based out of? Uh, we're in St. George, Utah. So I really love how modular this system is. Very plug and play, mix and match, find the components that make sense to you, put them together in a way that makes sense to you. I really, really love that. Obviously, you have to have one of the vehicles that they actually make the base platform for. I like the metal construction of the drawers. The metal is just so much more thin than wood construction which means you're gaining some space in there. And every inch really counts when you're packing a rig for an overland expedition. And I was impressed by the quality of all these components, how nicely built the drawers were, how nicely everything fit together, how well everything worked. This is way beyond my DIY level. So if you're running one of these vehicles, this system may be worth at least taking a look at. And I will put a link in the description below. Now let's take a look at Overland Vehicle Systems. So these waxed canvas storage bags and organization bags uh, caught my eye and I did film a segment speaking with someone from Overland Vehicle Systems. However, something went wrong and it was probably a mistake on my part, but I lost the footage from that little interview. But here's a couple of the items that I looked at there. So I think these are pretty nice. I think they're well conceived, well thought out, a lot of nice ways to divide up, separate, organize whatever it is you'd be putting into any of these bags. They look nice and I think they're fairly priced. And this is really only just a small fraction of the numerous storage and organization solutions they offer. So go take a look at their website and see what else they have. I will put a link in the description below. So this is step 22 and I am talking to 
Kristen. So step 22 okay. is a lot of uh, organization, yeah. storage. How far out um, it it's a great uh, option for some soft sure. bags and things like that. I've got several in my rig. Yeah, They've right now, stood the know, test of time and I've really enjoyed having them on board. And, uh, I can show you a couple of them. Yeah, some of my favorites, yeah. personal yeah. favorites. Come with me this way. This is our pangolin. This is a tool roll. It's a marriage of a tool roll and a tool bag all in one. I actually use this almost daily, pulling it out of my truck. You've got the wrench roll, you've got three pouches that are all Velcro backed. So for me, I have a socket set in one. I'm gonna take that and go work on my truck. And then, you know, when you're ready to go, this thing just like rolls up into itself. Oh, away you go. that's very tidy. Yeah, yeah, very nice, very organized, and all your stuff is in one place, which is really nice. The Tenkili Tech Bag. Look at these quaint little nice things. So they do the clamshell style opening so that you're able to see everything that's in them. This is great for like cameras, GoPros, you know? Keep your little cameras, oh, okay. things like that. There's a micro SD card holder right there. What? On this side. It's great for like batteries. You're like, hey, look, this one's charged, green up. Maybe it's like, cool, that one's dead now, so red oh, up, so now your you batteries are dead. You've got a pass through, maybe you've got like some cords or something like that. Keeps your cords in here and you're able to pass through on the outside. Pockets galore, zippers galore. That is awesome. Organization. You got D rings on the back if you want to create like a, a pocket, like a have a strap for you and you're able to open it up and like, cool, let me get my camera stuff. All the patches are rideable, so you're able to say, hey, this is my GoPro. Maybe you've got um, a drone. This is my drone bag. These are the Stingrays. So what I use these for in my camper are for clothing. People use these for, you could put like, I don't know, drills in here. You could do your camera equipment, maybe your bigger lenses. Um, people do camp kitchens. They put like their coffee stuff in here. Um, they'll do, you know, jet boils fit perfectly. It's kind of endless. Whatever you want to like organize, I bet we've got a bag for it. Let's show you a couple of our new stuff, new things. So this is our Rhino Rigamarole bag. Joel, Think like, obviously you got your yes, recovery did, gear. Like Maybe something cool. like moto boots yeah, and a helmet. Uh, I saw somebody that had their like bottles of whiskey in here. So this was like their wine for their uh, bar bag. But the cool thing about this is you've got this big wide open face. You're able to see everything. We don't want to create a black hole effect. Where you're digging and you're like, where the heck is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. We want visualization. You're able to see everything. So it's a nice open platform. Great working mat if you like want to stay out of the dust and stuff like that. So when you're ready to go, this thing connects together. I got it. You're going to zip up the sides, roll it down, cinch down the sides, and then the straps go up and over, and you got yourself like just this heavy duty, nice wow. bag. Tamarin. This is a more slender version. This is great for like the breaker bars, some of the bigger items. Mm -hmm. I've also noticed that people will put tanquilis and stack them in here. So if you're like, hey, this is my camera bag, but here's my drone, here's my GoPro. We try to make some of the bags fit into the other bags so then it's even more organization. Oh, yeah, yeah. So keep that in mind. You can check us out online at step22.com. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff out there. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Kristen. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So after Expo was over, I actually went out uh, on the trails and camping for some photo shoots with the people from Asphere 4x4 who make the skid plates uh, that are on my truck. We went out with a few other people who also have Asphere skid plates, including Mo Leisure X Ventures and Badass Brunette, who is Kristen at Step 22. So I took advantage of camping with Kristen to take a look at how she's using the Step 22 gear in real life. So we're here at Kristen's truck actually, we're going to take a look at how she actually uses the Step 22 gear in real life. So this is my little tiny home on wheels, I live out of it full time. I have some of Step 22 gear's stingrays. So these are for my clothing, it's another option that you can use them for, the sky's the limit on what you can actually put in these and use them. The labels on the outside are writable so that you're able to know and label what's in each of the boxes. So that's like my little closet drawer system. These things are awesome. I mean, they can fit pouches. They can fit some of the smaller qual cubes in here. Yeah, these stingrays, they're a fan favorite. People really love these. I have two minis and two regular size ones. And like I said, they just fit perfectly in there. And this guy is the Tenkili Tech Pouch. Predominantly designed for tech, a GoPro. So for me, I've got camera equipment, you know, I've got my little gimbal, I've got some lenses, 
you know, SD cards and stuff. So this is really just like kind of tech centric open and be able to see everything in here. It's got a little like micro SD card holder. He thought of everything on this, but pockets, storage, it's got a pass through, there's a pocket here and actually goes out to the outside. So if you have cords or cables and need to charge your stuff, cables can go out, it's cable management. You could also use this as like a toiletry bag. Yeah. But so you can have several of those tucked in something and organize a bunch totally. of stuff, then you just mark on the... Lined up, yeah. here's my GoPro bag, here's my lenses, here's my uh, hard drives, here's whatever. So then you know, you're not thinking like, what bag was this? You're like, oh cool, that's what bag I need. These are his packing cubes. Fairly new to the market, one of his newest ones. This is the large size. It also comes in a medium and then a smaller version. And again, another writable label so that in theory, if you have these all nice stacked up and neatly, you know exactly what's in them. For me, this one, I use for my compressor oh. to keep my compressor hose all nice oh, and nice. neat. And then a tire repair kit. So I'm kind of thinking anything that's tire related goes in here. Nice square size. And has handles on each side. And so when I have it actually stored away, it sits up perfectly in the cubby that I have it in. So then I know exactly like, cool, that's my, my grab and go tire stuff. That's the qual cubes. Now this guy is my fan favorite. This is the pangolin tool roll. This is like the crown jewel. This one, I use this almost on a weekly basis, but this is the marriage of a tool bag and a tool roll. So instead of being a black hole of a tool bag where you're kind of like, where the heck is that one thing? You get frustrated and you dump it all out. This is the organization of a tool roll in it. So all of your tools stay nice and organized. Again, labels. I haven't done it yet, but you can say, cool, this is my sockets. These are my wrenches. These are my pliers. And you know exactly what's in each bag without having to open and look at it. He's got a wrench roll. The wrench roll has a flap on it so that when you open it, you don't just lose all of your wrenches. The cool thing that I love about this is that anything with a red tab is Velcro backed. So one of these, see, I need to label them. This one's my socket set and I use this a lot. So it's cool. Take it and go. So I can leave that there and I can take this with me and go work under the truck. When you're ready to go, it just rolls up so nice and neatly and it's just perfect. So I really like how very square, rectangular these bags are, really allowing a super modular sort of mix and match, um, fit things together, very efficient use of space, pushing up into all of the corners. Really like the way the system all kind of fits together. They seem really nicely made and just a lot of really well thought out details. In fact, that tool bag roll thing, um, I'm just about ready to pull the trigger on that because that looks so much better than what I've been doing with a toolbox. Here again, we've only looked at a couple of the many, many different shapes and sizes and types of storage that Step 22 has put together. So you'll definitely want to go to their website and take a look through all of the different options and see you know, how you can put something together that makes sense for your build. And I will put a link for that in the description below. So I just want to say real quickly thank you to Kristen for taking the time to show us her Step 22 gear. So Kristen, why don't you tell my viewers a little bit about uh, what you're doing on Instagram and YouTube? Yeah, uh, so I am Kristen Wetton, also known as Badass Brunette on some of the social medias. You can find me on Instagram. I also have a YouTube channel up and coming that I'm working on. I'm just trying to live up to that name of Badass Brunette. You know, I love to skydive. I've got a dirt bike on the back of the truck and then just living out of this thing full time. I'm at the 13 month mark, just hit the one year. And I'm just gonna keep it going, see how long I can do it. And just love touring around and meeting amazing people and connecting and it's just, it's been a great experience. I recommend it to anyone and everyone who's ever thought about it and just kind of living the life that I've always wanted to. All right, that's awesome. Well, it's been great hanging out with you, Kristen. Uh, definitely you. go check out her Instagram and her YouTube. She's a lot of fun. She's funny <laughs> and she's witty and check her out. Thanks. Thanks, Kristen. Yeah, thank you. Well, I hope you found that useful or helpful or interesting in some way. I will still have more videos coming in the Expo PNW series that will include my pre-expo adventure with the guys from Grizzlies and Quigley and my post-expo adventure with Asphere, Molesier X Ventures, 
badass brunette and welcome to the outdoors. Thanks for watching.